So let's just go over rock uranium and one other non-depolarizing neuromuscular blocker that you might use clinically. Rock uranium. The dose for this is 0 0.6 milligrams per kilogram. And you'll use lean body weight for the obese population. The reason it's this is because 0 0.6 milligrams per kilogram is two times the ED95, meaning it's two times the dose required to produce 95% twitch height reduction. So the ED95 is 0 0.3 milligrams per kilogram, and we double that. This will take about two minutes. So if you want it to work faster, you could give a higher dose, something like three to four times, 0 0.9 to 1.2 milligrams per kilogram, which could be used for a modified RSI, and that'll give you about one minute for good intubating conditions. But as you can imagine, this will last much, much longer. So you have to be willing to accept that. Um, in terms of metabolism and clearance, it's about 70% by the liver and 30% by the kidneys. So in patients with renal or hepatic impairment, you could expect that the duration of action will be much longer um, and perhaps unpredictable for rock uranium which is why it's good to know about um, at least one other, which we'll talk about cisatricurium, The intubating dose for this is 0 0.15 to 0 0.2 milligrams per kilogram. Its onset is a little bit slower, so we're looking at four to seven minutes for onset here. And its metabolism is going to be unaffected by things like uh, liver and renal disease. It undergoes Hoffman elimination, which is essentially spontaneous degradation. And that's about 30% and 60% by ester hydrolysis, which is, again, largely independent of the status of your liver and kidneys. Let's say good for end stage renal disease slash liver. The duration for rock really varies, but around 30 to 70 minutes, again, highly dependent on what dose you've given and the duration for cisatricurium is 35 to 50 minutes. These are both considered intermediate duration uh, neuromuscular blockers, and there are others that will last much longer. We talked about neostigmine above, which is your acetylcholinesterase inhibitor. This causes an increase of the acetylcholine in the synapses. So it's important to co-administer this with an anticholinergic. That's with the intent of blocking the muscarinic uh, receptors in your peripheral nervous system. So block muscarinic. Otherwise, you'll have quite a strong vagal response, so you can have significant bradycardia and other problems. So basically, we give glycopyrrolate in addition to neostigmine. The ratio here is um, 5 milligrams of neostigmine for every one of glycopyrrolate, or at one-fifth of the neostigmine dose. Sometimes people will deviate slightly from this um, based on the resting vagal tone of the patient. Conveniently, 
the uh, neostigmine is five times more concentrated than the glycopyrrolate um, in the vials. So for every one mil of neostigmine, you'd also just give a milliliter of glycopyrrolate to balance them out. Lastly, there is now a direct reversal agent for rock uranium called Sugamidex. And this will bind to the rock uranium molecules and effectively inactivate them. So this would be given in doses of 2 to 16 milligrams per kilogram, depending on how deep someone's level of neuromuscular block is. If you ever use this, you can um, just look at a table for how much to give. Unfortunately, they don't have this in Alberta currently, but I believe most other provinces in Canada are using this now. So that binds slash inactivates rock uranium. Forgot to write the dose for neostigmine, which is 0 0.05 milligrams per kilogram or 50 mics per kilogram. Your optimal timing for giving the neostigmine for reversal is when you start to see about two to three twitches. Given before you have two to three twitches can take a very long time for this to have its effect uh, versus you're looking at maybe five to ten minutes um, for more reliable reversal when you're at two to three twitches. So again, it's not an immediate reversal um, and you do need to give some time for this to cook. Again, just compare that to Sagamidex, which can be given at any time. You just need to give a much higher dose if you have a very deep block.